On this wooded hillside outside Vladivostok, Russia, 14 Canadians lie buried, forgotten victims of a forgotten war. Canada's Siberian expedition saw more than 4,000 young men and one woman sail across the Pacific Ocean at the end of the First World War. They were part of an international effort to change the outcome of the Russian Revolution, hoping to replace the radical socialist government of Vladimir Lenin and the Bolsheviks. Canada's elite viewed Bolshevism as a threat to vested interests, as Lenin declared factories, banks, and private land to be social property. In contrast, many working people in Canada were inspired by the radical changes in Russia. Amidst tense labor strikes, a movement emerged demanding hands off Russia. Hundreds of soldiers attended these protest meetings in Victoria before leaving Canada. More than 300 loyal French Canadians energetically protest against being sent into Siberia against our will in an expedition which is not justified and useless for our country. This unique encounter between French Canadian conscripts and British Columbia socialists erupted into a mutiny in the streets of Victoria the day the soldiers embarked for Russia. They left the Willows camp before dawn but halted at a downtown street corner shouting On y va pas, In the fighting that followed, the commanding officer fired a gun at the French Canadian's feet. Then he ordered obedient troops to whip the mutinous men. At the point of the bayonet, they were prodded to the wharf. It took 21 hours to herd the mutinous soldiers aboard the troop ship SS Tista. A dozen ringleaders were shackled together in the ship's hold. Canada's Siberian expedition sailed from Victoria to Vladivostok. 